Okay, so what I've got here is a uh, my Commodore 64, and um, I've got uh, something plugged into the joystick port, but it's not a joystick. Instead, it's a keyboard that I've adapted to act as a joystick because I don't really like joysticks. I prefer playing on a keyboard, and I originally had an Amstrad, and you could always play with keys on an Amstrad. And my favorite key combination was QAOP, so up, down. On the Q and the A, OP was left and right, and space was always fire. Those are the keys that I always favoured. So I've wired in this keyboard to act as a joystick. So the way I'm testing that is by just using this program here. So this uh, this is one I got off 8-Bit Show and Tell, which is a really good channel. And um, if you peek at um, this memory location 56320, that's telling that's um, a memory location which is storing information that's coming from the joystick, and we just have a loop, so it's repeating repeating that. So when I run it, you'll see the number 127. So this is a number that appears. Um, this is basically when nothing is being pressed, when you're not moving the joystick at all, you're not doing anything, you're not moving left, right, up, down, or fire. You're, it's completely. Um, there's no action on the joystick. So what's happening there is this byte that's stored in that location, basically things happen um, when you move the joystick, it basically uh, it earths that particular direction, okay? And each direction is, go is uh, governed by that sort of one bit. So the first bit is the up, second one is down, left, right, and fire. So when nothing is happening um all of these bits are on all right so there's an electrical signal going along all of those bits which totals one two seven that's what we're getting there if i press the up key what happens is bit one gets zeroed so that bit gets earthed okay and um so let's just check that that's actually happening so if i press up on here we're seeing the number has changing to 126. If I press down, it goes to 125. If I press left, oh, on the left, it goes to 123. Right goes to 119. And if I press fire, it goes to 111. So what's happening is with when we each of those uh, directions, we're zeroing that particular bit that relates to that direction. So up, down, left, right, fire. Um, and if you do the maths. So it's basically just 127 minus whatever that bit is. So 127 minus 1, 126 for up, 127 minus 2, which is 125 for down, 127 minus 4, 123, 119 for right, and 111 for fire, which is the fifth uh, bit along, which is equates to the number 16. All right. So that's a good way of testing it. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. Um, it's actually really, really simple. I'm sure you could have figured it, you could figure it out yourself, but um, there's a couple of little issues that I have. I'd, so what I'll do is I'll open this up and I'll show you exactly how I got it to act basically like a joystick. All right, let me just pause the video.